What is up guys, this is Cameron C back with another review. Even though I never really feel like doing any of these reviews, I feel like I just have to do them anyways. I feel like I don't have a choice here, but whatever. I don't really want any people just saying, oh, you don't have to do it, you don't have to do it. Nah, it's my job. I've really got nothing else better to do in the summer, okay? Um, so anyways, um, today we're gonna be reviewing a, well, not a BE toy, it's never appeared in BE, although I decided to get it anyways, cause you know, I thought it looked cool. Um, and also, I never really had this type of a kinetic before, so, you know, this was technically my first, um, well, you know, if, I think you know what I mean. Everyone else has a, uh, dolphin kinetic, whether if it's the green or the natural wonders one with the splattered base, or, you know, rarely enough, the one that I have. Um, and this, that's exactly what, oh, or the silver one, too. But, um... Yeah, this is exactly what I'm going to be uh, showing today. It is the Glow in the Dark Dolphins by Golden Island. Surprisingly, they actually still have these. Um, who knows? I might actually contact them back and um, get a couple more for you guys. Who knows? Um, but yeah, um, this is definitely one of my favorite ones I've actually gotten. Um, if you haven't heard the story... Um, last year, I contacted Golden Island and made it an order. Um, I've gotten this one, um, what was it, the, uh, I think it was Mars or Planets, which is basically the glow-in-the-dark one up there. Yeah, you remember that one? That was, like, the first one that I've actually reviewed for this year. Um, let's see, the, uh, the two, uh, spheres, the, um... Was it the no, silver spheres and the planets, the fast motion ones, which are um, in my closet? And then I was supposed to get a Corona one, but instead they fucked up my order and I actually got another uh, colored galaxy. And then I also got a Silver Atoms, which I will review somewhere possibly in September, September or October. Who knows? I have I have plans to review other things though in the meantime. But for now, we're just reviewing uh, the glow in the dark dolphins. Um, I did eventually get two, uh, spheres, um, and, um, planets. I sold both of the spheres. I sold one to Jagger. I don't know who the other one went to, and I still have both planets up for sale, so, you know, uh, the sales on there are not really doing pretty well. So I was, really wasn't expecting that at all. Um, but, yeah. I basically have those two still available, and then, who knows, once those get sold, I will possibly make another order. That's the deal. I can't get them until they're gone. But anyways, back to this. Um, I don't know exactly when these dolphins were originally made. I'm not talking about the glow and dark ones, but, like, these ones in general. I know that the frogs were made somewhere in the 90s because of Baby Mozart, of course. It was made in 1998 or 97. I don't know. I mean, I say 97 because it was probably filmed in 97 and probably production probably took like two months to do since I know it was released in February of 98. So they had to have uh, made it in 97. It's my guess. But yeah, I have no idea when the dolphins were first made. If I had to guess, it would possibly be somewhere in, like, the early to mid-90s. It's my best guess. Um, but yeah, um... The glow-in-the-dark ones are definitely a, like, definitely a good one, to be honest. Um, I think, like, Jagger is the only other one who owns it. I can't really think of anyone else who does own it, though, but whatever. Um... But, yeah, it is definitely an interesting kinetic. I do like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, it came with a box. Um, here it is. Obviously, you've probably have seen this before if you've been on my channel since the beginning. Or at least, like, until the end of 2017, at least. But you may remember that this box is also the exact same box that came with the free balls. And, um, yeah, basically, I literally have almost every single kinetic on here now. I already have the three on the top, which is the three balls, this one, and the Polaris. Probably my favorite of the bunch. And then you got the spinning ones down here. You got the, uh, what should we call it? Spinning balls. You have the astronaut, or space variation of it, which we have in like an, one or two images of. 
And then we got this uh, one, which we don't even have any images at all. How weird. Definitely would love to get it one day, though, if I ever find it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And then there's three pictures on each side. And here they are right here. I could easily just cross off another three since I already have them. Because like I said, the only two I need to get left is this one and uh, this one. <laughs> I love how they just advertise these ones just twice. The side and the side. Nothing on the bottom except uh, GI, Golden Island, and then you got the barcode. I think I'm, yeah, I think I still do have the, yeah, I think I do have the catalogs still, so I'm definitely going to be probably buying off of them from there if they are the same thing. Who knows? But, um, yeah, that's basically just about it. Um, really nothing else to say, although it does glow in the dark. I've tried it with a black light. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do it right now because it's like broad daylight out, but um, it's still pretty cool. I like this a lot. But yeah, this thing does, in fact, glow in the dark alongside planets. And um, hopefully I can actually get, um, I don't know, hopefully I can actually get more of the glow in the dark nights very soon. Especially the four mass. I fucking want that one so badly. Um, but yeah, that's really just about it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, six-minute review, uh, make sure you guys give it a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.